I have this sheet of aluminum. All right, and then I got our right angle, a step bit, and then a small machinist style ruler, and then our shock. What I want to do is make a shock holder for it. So what I've done is I've already taken my right angle and I've laid out a straight line and then using the ruler I measured it up and found exactly where dead center was which is what this line is all right so now we have a straight line that's exactly in the middle of the plate and then we know exactly where dead center is that's a good place to start what I've done is I've taken the shock cap off because that's about the diameter of the shock and taking this part here to know that I have it right I would then line it up with the line like so and then trace it go down trace it go down trace it and go down now these are not exactly even or equal this is just kind of a rough sketch to see where I'm at so what I'm gonna do is I going to remeasure this area and try to get these even somewhat even anyway now what I need to do is punch dead center with our punch so I have a punch and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this put it right in the middle All right, so I punched holes right in the center of the hole so that way I can drill. All right, so I finished my holes. Here's my shock. All right, so now what's left is to clean it up and try to figure out how we're going to support it make legs or something for it i don't know i'll uh i'll see what we got all right so i have these and i'm 
maybe something like that. Maybe the, uh, My one tenth scale holes are drilled. My one eighth scale holes are drilled. Now, what I need to do is I need to take a light sandpaper and scruff this all up because the spray paint is not going to want to stick to this aluminum. It's just not going to want to. Also, speaking of spray paint, uh, we're going to do a video here soon on how to paint a body which I will show you guys the proper way to paint a body and also tell you how to not do it. Um, that We got some really cool colors in. Check this out. This is called Color Shift. It shifts between a blue and a purple color. That's going to look amazing. It was $32 for this can of spray paint. I am not even lying. Like, not even exaggerating one bit. It was $32.99, no matter where you went looking for this. It, it's an expensive paint. It's called Color Shift. It has two colors in one, see? Shifts colors at different angles. Gotta have it. Also, this Tamaya was the only one that I could find that had a metallic purple, right? Metallic purple, dude, I'm telling you, you guys, these colors are going to look amazing. And then if you bring over your attention over here, um, see, I got a couple more. True blue, regal blue, island blue. I got a gloss purple. And then I got some Air Force decals that are going to look good on a new body that we're going to paint up. And I bought some Shugu 2. Well, because we're going to reinforce the body. Right? You paint the body, what's next? Reinforcement. Need shoe goo for that. I think what we'll use is metallic blue. And this is a, a metal paint that should work nicely. Oh yeah, looks good. All right, now what we wanna do is use a clear enamel protective spray. That's the next thing. So we'll apply that. And then we're done. We'll reassemble it. And there it is. Complete it. That is not bad, right? For self-made. The metallic blue looks phenomenal. It came out quite well. You guys have to appreciate this. And then eight scale shocks fit in. Tenth scale shock. Tenth scale shocks fit here, eight scales go in the back. Like that. It's not bad, right? DIY shock. So that way, when I go to the tracks and I need to rebuild some shocks, I can with my handy dandy shock set that I'm gonna put next to my handy dandy self-made tire rack. See, if y'all haven't seen that video yet, check this video out where I build the tire rack. But yeah, shock set, one eight scale, one ten scale RC shock set, DIY. Boom, metallic blue, gloss finish. It's all made of aluminum. Got them chrome screws or chrome bolts in there. Yeah. Looks good. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to leave a like. See you guys in the next one. Whew. Good job, Don. Hell yeah.